I'm Justin Stone from EliteBaseball.tv and we're continuing on our series of the worst hitting drills of all time. And today's hitting drill, the fast hands drill, is by far the worst drill of all time. Basically any drill that you do that doesn't oh reference Finish the it. loading and unload, okay. the sequence of the swing, isn't a relevant drill that's going to help you in the batter's box. So the first thing that causes hitters to break down, especially youth hitters, is they lack tempo in the loading process and during the stride. Simply, they go too fast. So when I go too fast, the portion that young hitters often leave out is the upper body load. Why? Because it's the last piece of the body to load during the loading sequence. So if I go too fast and I don't give it time, I'm never in an upper body strong position in the scap load, that is the part that keeps my front shoulder closed. So you get those hitting coaches all the time and say, hey, your front shoulder's pulling out. You're pulling off the ball. First thing that we look for, are they loaded in the upper body? And then usually the answer is no. So when we have a drill like the fast hand, hands drill, it doesn't give the hitter time to load the upper body. It doesn't give them time well, to going. get through Finish the it. proper loading sequence. Okay. Plus, it reverses the chain of the swing. What you just saw in that clip is that that young man is hitting and his upper body is firing and his legs don't even have time to get back into a strong position. He doesn't even have time to reload his lower body. So the drills that we do with young hitters, you're better off going extra slow versus seeing how fast you can go. Because what young hitters lack is the ability to get into a proper loading sequence, which makes it very easy to get into the unload properly. And that's the portion that most hitting coaches are concentrating on, which is the contact portion of the swing. So when we have the fast hands drill, let's switch that out with working on getting players rhythm and their timing of the loading process. What this drill will allow players to do is directly push their hands inside and through a ball. But if I'm not in a correct loading sequence, the body will never get in a position to create whip, which is going to be our fastest bat speed and the correct way to slot the rear elbow and get inside the ball. So yes, if we want hitters to have real fast hands and continue to push the barrel forward to get inside the ball and punch through it and not use your lower body and not get into a position of strength because I can't load, that's the drill for you. 